Hello everybody and welcome back to the 2023 herping vlog. Unfortunately, the first couple of days of February were very cold and pretty useless for herping, but when it finally warmed up a little bit on the first Sunday of the month, I headed into the city to do a little bit of urban herping. February has been off to a less than warm start, but we finally got a nice, decently warm day this weekend. I think today's the 5th, so we're going to try to take full advantage of it, and we have a couple more warm days coming up that hopefully will be pretty snaky, so... I think today we're gonna mostly look for salamanders. The big target's gonna be to break our mud salamander curse for the winter. So without wasting any more time, I'm gonna get out into the swamp and we'll see what we can turn up. All right, well here we have our first find of the day. We have a nice little northern slimy salamander, actually a really pretty one, although he is missing his tail. And then down here at the other end of the log, we have evidence of snake. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to really tell what this is because it's so old, but it's a shed skin, nonetheless. Probably from over the fall, it's not very fresh. Apparently none of the salamanders out here have tails. Here's a little spotted dusky with a very, very, very new regrowth happening there at the end. Well, that's almost a mud salamander. <laughs> that is a giant, very old and weathered red. Look at this thing. That is awesome. Tons of scar markings. I really thought that was a mud at first, but it's just a very, very dull red. Beautiful eyes on that guy though, look at that. Already really liking the look of this habitat. Very, very nice. And here we have another wannabe mud salamander. Honestly, I'm just surprised we've seen two ruber already. I mean, I've only been here and actually herping for about 10 minutes at this point. This looks like another big chunky adult male with some battle scars. Here's a little Serigera, first one of the day, so I figured I'd show him real quick. Not really much to say about this guy though. Gotta love the ambiance of uh, urban herping. Well, we kind of ran out of ideal habitat. Right now we're in a super recently flooded floodplain, and right here on the edge of it, we have a nice log under which I flipped our third red salamander of the day. This one's definitely the brightest so far. If I had to guess, I'd say that's probably a big gravid female. Very nice. <laughs> Look at how rotund, incredible. I'm guessing there's gonna be some good salamander habitat where all those frogs are calling. Oh man, look at that guy. I'm gonna try to get a picture, that's awesome. I've been trying to pay extra attention to tree hollows, hoping to see an owl like this. I was really hoping for a screech owl, but a barred owl will do, that's very cool. That's a vibrant one. It's like the sixth ruber of the day and another little dusky hanging out under there. The earth is taking a leak. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. Yesterday's outing wasn't really a cleanup outing, but it was pretty cool. I think the sleeping owl ended up being the highlight, but today is supposed to be even warmer, supposed to be in the mid 60s, probably the warmest sunny day we've had uh, in 2023 so far in North Georgia. So. We're going to get out and hike around, really hoping to see some snakes and turtles today because it is going to be warm and sunny. Uh, I don't think it'd be too much to ask to at least see some kind of snake today, so that's going to be the goal. We'll see what we can get into. These are our first eastern river cooters and yellow-bellied sliders of the year. Two new species of turtle to start the day, and only our second and third turtles of the year. We have not had much turtle activity until this point, so hopefully there will be more to come today. I got a decent camera photo that I think is going to come out better than any video I can get from this distance that I'll overlay, but definitely a mix of sliders and eastern river cooters in there. It's warm enough the sliders are just out swimming around today. Look at that guy. I'm assuming that's a slider. There's a big green anole. There's actually a second one down in the grass right there that's very brown still. But good to see some reptiles out. Here's a cricket frog. Yeah, it's our first one of those of the year. Probably a northern here. Pretty nondescript, this one, but they are quite variable. So this is pretty cool. This little blob is a bunch of pretty well-developed southern two-line salamander eggs. I just flipped this rock and noticed them on the underside. The mom buried in the gravel right here so hopefully she'll come right back once i put the rock back but really really cool to see these eggs so far along and far developed you can see that guy right there you can actually see his eyeball 
and every once in a while they'll kind of twitch but really neat and of course we've got the macro lens on so put a little scale to it these are very very small frogs so many frogs there's legitimately a ton of frogs under here <laughs> two of them went down that hole there was another one I got him oh wait there's two here still frog tin all right well here's three of the five green frogs we flipped under that tin I'm just gonna put these guys back <laughs> two of them went down a hole and then there were three more that I was able to catch also, I just realized this one in the middle is actually a bullfrog. And that, that one on the far end might actually be a bullfrog too, or even possibly a hybrid. I mean, I don't know if that's been documented or not, but it's just got the faintest dorsolateral fold. You can see this guy's got a pretty complete one. This guy has none. That's definitely a bullfrog. And that one's kind of ambiguous. I'm not sure what that one is. I would guess a bullfrog though. They both kind of have the same look to them when compared to this guy. All right, here's frog tin. Go on. Well, it's kind of ridiculous that it actually took us this long to get a look at one, but Caitlin just spotted our first spring peeper of the year hopping around. I've heard a ton calling, and I'm sure I've driven past some hopping across the road, but this is the first one we've actually gotten a look at. And it's a really weird way to see one, just hopping around during the day like this. He's got a cricket chilling out on his back. Well, that is admittedly kind of confusing after not seeing any snakes all day. Caitlin's just walking along the side of this busy trail there's not really, I mean, that's a grocery store right there. And then there's some swamp over there, but there's just a big Midland water snake. Super red, chilling right here. It took like, we spent most of the day in prime habitat for these guys. And it takes walking out behind this grocery store to actually find one. So this guy's just kind of chilling like right beside this pretty busy path, as you can see. Notice that car go by. His eye is kind of bad on this side. He's not super, uh, not super aware, but I'm assuming he's he's gonna react when I pick him up. He's beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I think it's because he's cool and he probably hasn't been out basking much at all this winter. I mean, this might be the first time he's come up all winter long. I this thing would probably be absolutely stunning with a, a fresh coat of paint, but unfortunately, this is the time of year where. Stuff's coming out of brumation and it just is covered in mud and it won't really look in prime until they have their first shed, but he's flicking at me a little bit. There's that lovely urban herping noise again. This area we're in today is, uh, it's not as close to Atlanta and downtown as the area we were the other day, but it definitely is just as urban. Like I said, there's a grocery store right there, this busy neighborhood path. And then a swamp over there so i'm just happy to find a snake though i mean that was the goal today and it took all day long to actually find one but i'm hopeful that now that we've kind of broken the ice um there will be more stuff to come so we'll see but the reason i even came over to this area right here is because right there where all those freshly trimmed bushes are there's normally a good little stretch of habitat for green snakes and they cut it all down so definitely a bummer to see Never rattle, does he? Nah. <laughs> well, this guy's drawn quite a crowd just as we've been sitting here looking at him. So we're gonna uh, probably put him over here and hope he stays away from the road because we definitely don't want anybody who is not friendly to notice him and try to kill him. So you can see this, this guy would normally be much more vibrant like that color you see on the side, but he's covered in that early season clay and dirt so we're back in the ditch behind the grocery store and uh, the water snake is right over there. And I noticed there's actually a bunch of tadpoles in here and a pretty fresh, I'm assuming, southern leopard frog egg mass. Um, that's about the only thing that that look fits for. There's a tadpole right there that kind of looks like it's dead. But I mean, this is not exactly the healthiest habitat. You can see there's trash all in it. But nevertheless, there are living tadpoles swimming around in here too. This is like one of those super tadpole congregations. You can see there's 
tons of them just chilling in this super shallow water. Look at this. I've only seen this a couple of times and it's always in this kind of not ideal habitat, but look how many of them there are in here. All right, guys, you know what time it is. We have this kind of horrible habitat behind the grocery store and uh, there's some old Christmas trees people chucked back here. Uh, over here, we have a ton of frog eggs that are laid in too shallow of water and are certainly gonna die over the next couple days as this continues to dry if we don't move them into the deeper water. So we're gonna move them into the deeper water and hope they survive. We're gonna attempt to up one of these masses and move it to deeper water in an effort to save these guys. The mass came up. It's pretty intact in the eggs. There's no fungus or anything growing on them. It looks like a pretty healthy mass. So I'm just gonna walk it over here in the deeper stretch, which has a million tadpoles in it. Plop it down in water. It's actually ridiculous how many of these there are. I mean, look at this. These might be a little too far gone to save, but we're gonna try it anyways, just in case. You can see there is like some insects hopping around on them. Worst case, they'll become food for the tadpoles that are in the water already. So these are the driest masses. The eggs on top that have been cooking in the sun all day probably aren't good, but these ones on the bottom look good. You can see the embryos in there are developing. And this is what the final product looks like. Move the eggs as close as we could and put them in the deeper water that will hopefully not dry up over the next couple days before we get more rain. Well, that's kind of a bummer that this is what these amphibians have been reduced to living in, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. And at least we could help them out today, so. Anyways, we're gonna keep on keeping on and hopefully we'll be able to turn up some more stuff before the end of the day, but it is starting to get pretty late. I'd say we have probably another hour and a half of good light. Hey, there's a brown water snake. Look at that guy. I think this is our first brown water of the year. Seems to be pretty chill. He has, oh, here we go. Ah, he's just sitting in the shade. He is ice cold but very healthy. Ah. Oh, there's the musk. So it's actually ridiculous how cold this guy is to the touch. I almost wonder if he had been in the water and just was maybe hunting when it was warm and the sun was shining over here and then he just maybe crawled up out of here uh, to kind of dry off before the end of the day. Because like these rocks are cold to the touch. Sun is just barely behind the bridge right there. Not too long ago it would have been shining on these rocks. So very, very nice to be finding some local snakes today. Even if it wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be, I'm just glad we found a couple here at the end. All right, I'm gonna take a wide angle of this guy and then we'll put him back in his rocks, but nice adult, healthy adult brown water snake. No blisters, good body weight. Very nice to see this time of year, a completely healthy snake. The last water snake was not unhealthy, but he definitely had a little bit more of a, a screwed up eyeball on one side, so. Not 100%, but this guy seems like he's close to it. All right, bud, stay warm, and hopefully I'll see you again at some point this year. Let this guy go into the rocks. All right, guys, well, I think it's about time for us to start heading back to the car. We have to meet some people for dinner. It's been a pretty long and unproductive day, but we did find some cool stuff here at the end, including a couple of snakes. So I'm pretty happy with how it went. And we got to help all those frogs that will hopefully now live into at least their tadpole stage before they get eaten by something. So that being said, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.